guys welcome back to my channel well today's video as you can see from the link down below it is my 2018 favorites i've been wanting to do this for the longest time but i just got back from traveling so it's a little late but here it is anyways i think we should just get right into the video and let's get started so the first product is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This has definitely been a changer for me and my makeup routine. It makes my pores like gone and it makes it creates such a smooth base for my makeup and it's just amazing. So I really love this. Um, it retails for about $30 I believe but I've repurchased it. And it lasted me a good like six months because it is a pretty big. It comes with 1.8 fluid ounces. And uh, like I said, it really just helps my foundation just go on even more beautiful. So I really, really love this and would recommend this if you're looking for a new primer. I have two favorite foundations for this year. Um, one I wouldn't really consider a foundation which is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and this is the Illumination one. Um, I didn't get this till summertime, but it really changed everything, and as you guys can see, like I used the crap out of it. Um, I don't use it right now just because it's a little bit tan for me, because this is in the shade tan, so it's a bit tan for me right now. Um, I want to try the regular one and the oil-free, I know they just came out with this one this year and the oil-free one, so I want to try the other one, but this really changed everything for me. I used this during the summer and halfway through fall before I was like not tan anymore, and it really made my skin so glowy. It made my skin look just like skin, but it gave me enough coverage. It does have SPF 50, which... I appreciate because it's one less step in my makeup slash skincare routine so I very very much recommend this it is amazing if you're looking for a new foundation but like a foundational alternative I would say I would rec definitely recommend this one I'm not a huge fan of BB creams but this one hit the spot the next foundation is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. The best part of all of this is that it's only $12. Uh, I got this at Ulta. I did love the concealer. I tried the concealer in the beginning of the year and I loved it. But this is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. It is amazing. It definitely like is a full coverage foundation like it says, but you can build it up. And you can also put just a tiny bit and a little goes a long way so it doesn't look super cakey. And the best part, like I said, is the price. I really love the applicator. It makes it a lot easier so you don't get messy. So you just put like little lines and it's ready to go and blend it out with your beauty blender or um, your brush, whatever you prefer. Um, so yeah, I'm in the shade F10. So it is a little bit less tan than the other one but i really really love this and if you're looking for a drugstore foundation i would definitely recommend this this is supposed to be the dupe for the tart one but i've heard such bad reviews about the tart shape tape one which i didn't really want to try anyways but then i saw this and i was like ah 12 dollars wouldn't be like as bad to splurge if it turns out to be a bad one the next thing would be brows. Um, right now, I just use, when I do like a more dramatic makeup look, I do use my Anastasia pomade. But when I just want to do like quick everyday makeup, I use this and it really changed everything for me. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I used to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, but I did not like it. It was a, whoa. It was a bit pricier than this. This is only like two or three bucks, which, girl, it works even better. I just use it, fill it in, and it literally looks like I filled in my eyebrows very lightly, but it looks very good, very natural, which is what I appreciate. And I'm in the shade, 
they have the only thing about this is that they only have three shades and I'm the shade soft brown soft brownie 03 so they only have a couple shades that's the only bad thing about it but I really really recommend if you're looking for something easy and quick and it does make them a little bit fluffy and just stay in place so I really like this the next thing would be my ColourPop concealer as you guys can see I've used the crap out of it um, I haven't repurchased yet because it has lasted me a long time but like the name and everything is like pretty much gone I'm in the shade light 20 and I really love this for highlighting under my eyes it is what I'm wearing right now um, it just makes it so bright and it does increase I really love it and the best part is that the price is only like $12 I believe they don't sell these at Ulta, they only sell them online, just like the foundations, but anytime I order anything from um, Ulta, if I need it, if I see I need it, I would restock. Um, I did used to use the contour one, but it wasn't my favorite to contour, I don't know why. I prefer my other products, but this is definitely a go-to concealer, and the best part is the price. Once again, I feel like a lot of my products that I'm mentioning here are a little bit affordable, and um, there's both sides to it, really. But I really, really love this. For mascaras, I have two. Um, one of them is the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is the waterproof version. I really love this. The one looks just like the better than sex one. And it's supposed to be the dupe. But I really think this is so much better. The better than the sex one I didn't really love. There was nothing about it that I was like, oh, I need it. Actually, it flaked on me a couple times. So I gave it away because I didn't like it at all. But this, I decided to give it a try. And it was such a game changer for me because it just made my lashes so voluminous so freaking full and the length was the best part of it um and obviously the price it's only about eight eight dollars compared to twenty something dollars for the uh better than sex one so yeah i really like this one i do have a pricier one which between these two i would definitely whoops i would definitely have to recommend this one over this one um this is the benefit bad gal bang the wand in this thing and just the way it makes my lashes look is amazing so it's a bit thinner so it really gets under my like my lower lashes look bomb with this thing i can't stop using it i'm not one really to splurge on high-end mascara because it's just mascara but this was such a changer for me especially because i used to wear uh extensions all the time and once i took them off my eyelashes were a little short the, well not a little a lot shorter than they used to be and this really helped for them to look a lot longer than they actually were so i really recommend this a lot of people didn't really like it but it was honestly such a game changer for me so for powders this i discovered at the very end of the year but I have to mention it because it was definitely a game changer. I feel like I said that about everything in here, but I guess that's why they're my favorites of the year. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Radiant Powder. Um, and this is in the shade Radiant Light. I love this. I use this at the very end. Once I'm done with all my makeup, I just sist it all over and it makes my it looks like I airbrushed everything. It gives it such a nice touch. I love this. It is a bit pricier, but I definitely, definitely recommend. And um, I want to try different shades because they only have this one. And I want to try a lighter one just, just to see how much of a change it makes under my under eye. As far as eyeliners, eyeliners. As far as highlighters, I have a bunch. Um, a brand that really did change the game for me was Ofra Cosmetics. This is their old packaging, and this is Nikki Tutorial's uh, collab with them. And this is in the shade Blind the Haters. It is a beautiful gold. I really love this shade, but I don't use it as much as I did during the summer. It is definitely that goldy uh, shade that you would use during the summer, and I definitely recommend their 
formula is so buttery and it's just so freaking like look at that i love that um i definitely recommend it i recently purchased this one which is the beverly hills one and it comes with all the different shades so i got that one and i love their new packaging but it gets so dirty that's my only complaint i think i like this packaging a lot better um but they're all such a beautiful shade like some of them i just used to like highlight in my inner corner and on the brow bone area but honestly best like ofra really i feel like they are just known for highlighters more than anything because i'm glad i tried them next highlighter would be the jeffree star cosmetics peach goddess i really really love this um i got this i want to say during summertime no i got it in the beginning of fall time and it is what i'm wearing right now it is such a beautiful peachy tone um i wasn't very it's very pigmented as you guys can see i wasn't very convinced with his highlighters just because I had ordered two before, but that was my fault because I ordered like funky shades. I ordered a blue one and then the pink one that was like Regina George. The Regina George doesn't really give you a highlight. I would use that, those two more honestly for eye looks than anything, but this changed the game for me. Like it's such a beautiful shade and honestly you could even use this for eye looks as well. I love it and as you guys can see I kind of like the J's are gone because I used the crap out of it but I love how it is about $28 but you get such a big pan that's why I think it's worth paying for it and I love their packaging and it was just a great highlighter it definitely changed the game for me in 2018. The next um, highlighter I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a little bit of a cheaper side rather than Ofra and Jeffree Star. I definitely recommend the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. This is in the shade Wisp and it is a like cream formula. It is so freaking pretty on the skin. I combined this with um, the Peach Goddess one and I just love it. I also have Flexitarian, which was one of my favorites, but Wisp was definitely, like, the go-to one. I love this, and it's so easy to apply with a beauty blender. You can even apply it with your own fingers and just go like this. But it definitely, like, blends out very nicely and gives you that amazing highlight. Almost forgot these two highlighters. Um, these are on the cheaper side, but these definitely add, like, it was such a great purchase and i love that i have them in my collection and these are the wet and wild highlighting powders um this is in the shade blossom glow and it's a pretty pink iridescent color and then this one is in the shade precious petals which is more of a gold color i really really love these i recommend this if you're looking for a highlighter and a cheap alternative i believe they're only like five bucks if anything i'll leave everything linked down below but i'm not sure i know they're very very stupid cheap so definitely recommend these if you're looking for something that is such pigment like the pigment is so there like i don't know if you guys can see it's amazing how pigmented these two are but the best price the best part of it is a price and i actually Gave one to my roommate, and my other roommate has one as well, and they love it, so. As far as contouring, um, this is obvious to me, I think. I got this last year for, I think around February, and I have not gotten my hands out of it, and I'm surprised I haven't, I'm sorry, that's my dog. Sorry guys. As I was saying, I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on this because I used the crap out of it. This one I can see a small little dent. 
but you can't really tell on camera. It's more like on the side. These two shades are the ones I use the most because this one's a bit dark for me, which it's Shadow Play and Sap Sap Subconscious. So it's Subconscious. I can't read because it's like Subconscious. I don't know. Um, I really use these powders every day to brighten my under eye. And I love this. I definitely recommend this. I know it's sold out freaking everywhere except their website. So I definitely recommend like going and getting it. It is worth the hype. I didn't believe it, but girl, this is what I use every day. I have three favorite palettes, eye palettes for this year. I think these are my most used ones. I definitely recommend these like go get it if you don't have it go get it right now i do have a couple more that i loved but these are like if i had to pick these would be it um the first one is the most classic one the soft glam one i have talked about it in my favorites before i'm not sure which month but i love this thing i was so skeptical about this thing not skeptical but i was like i'm not gonna purchase that like it's such a basic like whatever color palette i can just use my naked palettes or my neutral palettes that i already have no this is such a game changer and as you guys can see i've used the crap out of it i love this it goes with me everywhere it's perfect for traveling you can create so many so many looks with it you can't it doesn't really look like it but girl it's the palette of the year i believe i want to say it's the palette of the year if I had to pick between all these three, I would pick this one. The next one is the Anastasia Norvina collab. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I love the crap out of this one. It's not as beat up as the other one because the other one's like more basic. But this one, it has the most beautiful shades. The pigments there. Anastasia did it again once again. I just love everything about it. I purchased it the day it came out on their website and it was like sold out immediately afterwards and i was like thank the lord the best palette i've purchased this year one of the best ones um obviously all of these are shimmers and i you know like sometimes i don't even use the full palette i use other ones but i always go back to this one and use a pop colors and it's just such a beautiful the per probably one of my favorite shades would be the rose gold celestial and passion i haven't used drama but now that i look at it it's such a beautiful color so maybe a coming next tutorial i'll use it lastly this is a new brand that just came out um it is by gabby who oh, let's look this up i don't even know her last name but it's this girl that used to work for BoxyCharm and she came out with her own um, cosmetic line. So Gabriela Trujillo is the owner of Alamar Cosmetics. And this was her first uh, palette. And this is a volume one Regna del Caribe. She recently just came out with the second one, which I'm all for. I want to go buy it. But right now I'm trying to save a little bit of money. So maybe later on um i was skeptical about this one i didn't actually purchase this one it came in my boxy charm because i saw it and i was like they're beautiful shades but i don't think i can create like as many looks well she taught me wrong this is the best palette ever la costa is such a beautiful shade that you can use it as highlight and i've done it before um the names of them are beautiful they're inspired by her um, culture which she is from where is she from Cuba she's from Cuba I'm sorry so she named La Costa El Malecón Varadero Celia Coco Taxi Tropico Guatanamera y Cafecito these shades blend so nicely I haven't like this I want her to like create more and more and more because all of her shades just blend like a freaking dream so many people have talked about this yet i feel like not enough because this just needs to be hyped up even more i love this i definitely recommend it it retails for about 28 dollars definitely get your hands on it lastly um last but not least i have two more things to talk about um favorite lip products favorite liquid lipsticks 
Um, I don't have an actual shade this year, but I gotta say, Dose of Colors really did it for me. I purchased so many of their stuff, especially now that they're at Ulta. Uh, one of my favorites would definitely have to be the Purple Rain. I use this so much during the summer. It is a funkier color, but it definitely did it for me. Um, it is... I think between these and Jeffree Star ones, sorry, that was my dog again. My, between these and my Jeffree Star, I think I would have to pick Joseph Colors Formula over it. And their colors and their ranges are so freaking pretty. And I just love that I can actually see them in person rather than just buying them online. Because these two I bought online and they're very freaking, they look very similar, but they're really not. There's like a different tint to it. Um, and then this one was one of the first ones I bought, which is called Play Cool. And on the website, it looks a lot different than in person. So that's like my only thing. But definitely, they did it. Um, as far as lip gloss, this is the lip gloss of the year. And this is um, the Pat McGrath Lads in Aphrodisiac lip gloss. I love this shade. It's like... It just looks so freaking pretty and glossy and it's not sticky and it's just the one. Last but not least, I really think I need to talk about these lashes. And they're the Kiss 11 lashes. I love them. They're like the wispy kind. I seriously wear these every single day. I repurchase and repurchase and repurchase these. I used to wear, as I mentioned before, um... I used to wear extensions and they really effed up my lashes. So my alternative to that is these. These look amazing. I love them. They're so affordable. This pack is like eight bucks and they last me a long time because I reuse them and they don't look funky afterwards. So they're very, very durable. And the best thing is the price and just how they look. I love them. So this is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. And leave any comments down below of what your favorites were for the year. And if any of these were your favorites, if you guys have any recommendations for me to try this upcoming year, just let me know and I'll see you guys next time.